All right, y'all. So on this episode of America is Consuming Itself, uh, we learned we learned that the Colorado Supreme Court just ruled that Trump is disqualified from holding office. And this means, of course, that they have excluded him from their Republican ballot pending an appeal that's expected, of course, to go to the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. Let's talk about it. All right. So CBS is saying the Colorado Supreme Court ruled Tuesday that former President Donald Trump is disqualified from holding the presidency under the Constitution. They are citing the insurrection clause uh, in, in the Constitution and ordered the Secretary of State to exclude his name from the state's Republican presidential primary ballot, the landmark decision from the divided Colorado Supreme Court that Trump cannot hold public office under the Civil War era provision is unprecedented, and it marks the first time a court has found him to be ineligible to return to the White House due to his conduct surrounding the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Never before has a court determined that a presidential candidate is disqualified uh, under the clause section three of the 14th amendment now before we move on we should probably talk about what exactly is section three of the 14th amendment and here it is it says no person shall be a senator or representative in congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office civil or military under the u.s or any state who having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the U.S. or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state. Girl, they're covering all the bases. <laughs> they are covering everything. <laughs> to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two thirds of each house, remove such disability. So yeah, essentially the constitution was just like, hey girl, if you try it, if you try to go against the US, you ain't gonna sit here thinking that you're about to hold office. Um, so obviously the ruling does not apply outside of Colorado and the state's high court. Uh, whose justices were all appointed by Democratic governors paused its decision until January 4th, one day before the deadline for Colorado Secretary of State to certify the candidates for the state's March 5th primary. Uh, we conclude that because President Trump is disqualified from holding the office of president under Section 3, it would be a wrongful act under the election code for the secretary to list President Trump as a candidate on the presidential primary ballot. And this is what the court's majority wrote in an unsigned opinion. Lawsuits challenging Trump's candidacy have been filed in more than 25 states, more than half the fucking states in this hope, ahead of the 2024 election. Though the Colorado case brought on behalf of six voters marks the most immediate threat to his campaign. National polls show Trump atop the field of candidates vying for the Republican presidential nomination. I am not surprised by that. Uh, Trump will appeal the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court, a spokesman for his campaign said, setting up a high stakes showdown over his eligibility to run just as voters in early states begin casting their ballots in the Republican primaries. In pausing its decision, the Colorado Supreme Court said that if review to the nation's highest court is sought before January 4th, its stay will remain in place and the secretary will be required to list Trump on the 2024 primary ballot until the U.S. Supreme Court rules. So basically right now, Colorado Supreme Court is pausing the ruling and it will remain paused. The stay will remain in place if the U.S. Supreme Court reverses their decision or whatever, just rules their overrules their decision, essentially. Uh, and we all know that the U.S. Supreme Court is a conservative leaning court right now so i mean <laughs> girl trump's campaign is responding exactly how you would expect them to respond a spokesman for his campaign called the decision deeply undemocratic um he said we have full confidence that the u.s supreme court will quickly rule in our favor and finally put an end to these un-american lawsuits i find it so funny that his campaign is calling uh these lawsuits un-american Right. Because these lawsuits are based on a law that y'all created, that, <laughs> that people created to prevent insurrectionists and the traitors to y'all government from taking over y'all government. I'm just like, what's an American about that? I don't know. <laughs> that is so funny. We are watching America eat itself like it's Rome. Like, I'm telling you, 
<laughs> we are, the, every day I wake up is another, you know, ruling, another thing happening in government that they describe as unprecedented. We've never seen this before. I'm just like, girl, if y'all don't press the red button and be done with it, I'm so tired of this. <laughs> this, this teasing shit. Just start this shit off and, and get me off this planet already. God damn. So the Colorado Supreme Court uh, was divided 4-3 on the ruling. The court said President Trump, or the majority said, President Trump asks us to hold that Section 3 disqualifies every oath-breaking insurrectionist except the most powerful one, <laughs> and that it bars oath-breakers from virtually every office, both state and federal, except the highest one in the land. <laughs> both results are inconsistent with the plain language and history of Section 3. So from my understanding here, the court is just saying, this girl, like, Trump really wants us to hold everybody else accountable, every other office accountable, except his office, and they said that shit ain't gonna fly, girl. That's what they said. The article goes on to talk about section three, the provision aims to prevent those who swore an oath to support the constitution and engaged in insurrection from holding state or federal office. It says here in their ruling, the four justices in the majority acknowledged that we travel in uncharted territory and that this case presents several issues of first impression and issues of first impression just basically means that this is a case that presents new legal questions or issues that have not been previously decided by said court. The majority said, we do not reach these conclusions lightly. We are mindful of the magnitude and weight of the questions now before us. We are likewise mindful of our solemn duty to apply the law without fear or favor and without being swayed by public reaction to the decisions that the law mandates we reach. Here it just says the court the justices rejected the idea that what happened on January 6th was not an insurrection and instead concluded that the events of January 6th constituted a concerted and public use of force or threat of force by a group of people to hinder or prevent the U.S. government from taking the actions necessary to accomplish the peaceful transfer of power in this country. The high court found that Trump did not merely incite the insurrection but continued to support it by continuing to urge then Vice President Mike Pence to unilaterally toss out state electoral college votes. In his dissent, one justice warned that because other states differ from Colorado in their election laws, Trump will likely be disqualified from the presidential primary ballot in less than all 50 states, risking chaos in our country. This can't possibly, this is what he said, this can't possibly be the outcome the framers intended. And I'm just sitting back like the framers intended for my ass to be a good slave on the field. So right now, excuse me while I cackle watching y'all scramble. Oh, my God. Of course, the Republicans are rallying around Trump. House Speaker Mike Johnson criticized the decision of the Colorado Supreme Court, calling it nothing but a thinly veiled partisan attack on social media. He said, regardless of political affiliation, Every citizen registered to vote should not be denied the right to support our former president and the individual who is the leader in every poll of the Republican primary. We trust the U.S. Supreme Court will set aside this reckless decision and let the American people decide the next president of the United States. So, yeah, Republicans acting, reacting exactly how you would expect them to react. The courts, it's about to be a fight. When I tell you that this upcoming election season or 2024, whatever, about to be full of drama, about to be full of legal fights. Um, this fight will definitely be interesting. Um, the showdown in the U.S. Supreme Court, because, girl, the uh, result of it will set a lot of precedent in the future. Um, of course, it will allow just the very basic thing. It will allow presidents to get away with all kinds of bullshit. I mean, impeached how many times, found guilty of doing whatever, how many courts. It would just set precedent that, like, you know, if you get up in there in the office, you can do whatever the hell you want. And you could already do it. You could already do whatever the hell you want <laughs> to a certain extent, you know. But, like, this will really set things to a new level. So we'll see what happens. I really, my personal opinion is that they're going to let this motherfucker run. I'm, I'm just saying, like I said, y'all done impeach him how many times? Y'all done found him guilty on how many charges? Y'all done, like, nothing is sticking right now. Nothing is sticking. And to me, it's like... I don't know. It's 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 just like it, it seems like something that this American American society created. Like a, it just created this monster, and we're just gonna get more monsters. The monster the monsters that we already have are gonna get bigger and more powerful. To me, all of this, all of this chaos, all this confusion, all of this bullshit is an inevitable 
um, development as to what where our society is going, what our society is doing. Like, bitch, it's to me, it's just about to get worse from here. Okay. On that note, thank y'all so much for watching. Love y'all so much, and make sure that you have a good. Goddamn. I don't want your nigga, you crazy. The nigga too lazy. I need me a nigga who can tame me. Coming through and making niggas switch teams. I'm feeling really pussy. Got that shit in my jeans.